Hello everyone, so today welcome to another list video and today we're going to be doing something I did last year but in an updated one. Here are my top 5 favourite video games part 2. Number 5 Life is Strange. Now, until Life is Strange 2 comes out, um, I'm putting this here and plus I'm not putting the Captain Spirit demo here because that's not a full game itself and I don't want to put a demo. Anyway, so I hopefully you know what Life is Strange is. It came out in 2015 and Life is Strange 2 is coming this year, September 27th. Life is Strange is a game where you got Max and Chloe, you go around different choices, powers, much more. You should know this by now. Oh, Max! In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. Destiny. You hell saved my life. Don't ever touch me again! Then I realized I had a choice. Hey. And the power to change everything. Bang. What the hell? Come on, Slowpoke! If I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. So, what would you do now? of a game, but number four, Star Wars Knights of the Force mod. Now recently I've just seen a trailer for new content to be added from the Old Republic, The Last Jedi, and Solo, a Star Wars story including new maps and a single player mission. So I really do like this mod because you're able to spawn in different characters, play as any character as you want and it's just amazing, go to different maps, have crazy stuff, I've even created a video called Order 66 on the Sith, link in the description, so yeah, and if you want to know how to download it, link in the description, so yeah. Number three, Batman Arkham Knight. Now, the reason why I like Batman Arkham Knight, Knight is because of the great engine, the great use of it all, of how big it is. The graphics look amazing for a 2015 game, and it's one of the last Arkham games that was going to be like this. Um, so yeah, now, nothing hasn't been produced since this, but Arkham Knight to me will still be one of the... Greatest good games that I've ever played, that's the Arkham stuff. I know people like Arkham City, maybe that's the story, but graphically, for the graphics, I like this one better, I do. Number two may surprise you because I hear many people hate this, but Call of Duty Ghosts. I completed this game a long time ago and I do plan to bring it to the game channel, but I'm preparing on this one first. And Call of Duty Ghosts got me to introduce the roots of war games and why I got interested in them that I've got Battlefield. Uh, 4 which I do plan to get rid of for exchange because 
Uh, you have to do this things by trial and error, but the thing is, games like these with updated graphics, updated visuals, that's less. That is, it takes up a lot of your time, but you're able to do it. I like Call of Duty Ghost because it just introduced me and I quite like the story and it's a shame that they won't do a second one because that little cliffhanger at the end, I don't know, so we just assumed the main character just died after that. And at number one, the game that I play the most, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I have this on my Xbox One and my PC. The PC reasons is for mods and exploring. Now, many people don't like this game. I very much do like it. And with the due return of Emperor Palpatine and Ewok Canton, hopefully August 7th, I quite like this game. It's getting new content this year. I play this game every single day. Day I do, whether it's on the PC or the Xbox One, and I have gotten good at it. Many people, when they play this game, one of their complaints could be, but I don't like this game because I'm not, because like, I can't kill anyone I knew of that. I see these comments, and all I can really think of is that you didn't pick this game up at launch, because even though it had these messed up flaws, somehow you are able up to level your characters up easier than you could do now because if you don't know if you do I don't know uh, 3,000 skill points uh, points during that battle points or even 10,000 you won't get that a thousand amount they've changed literally everything it was better months ago compared to what it is today I know that sounds crazy but come on how did you think you earned a thousand credits or even ten thousand credits during one match? You know why? You know you know how? It's because of this progression update didn't sort everything out just yet. So that's how I got Iden first year. Even without playing multiplayer, that's how I got her to level up, that's how I got Wayne to level up, that's how I got Yoda level up, and I only chose to do multiplayer between either December or January. So, yeah, and I've been loving it ever since then. But now it's like you cannot level up during single player or arcade anymore. I've tried it because I've played the full campaign, the web question again, and you cannot. So you just stick on level one. The only way to level up is to get into multiplayer. You will feel scared at first, you will die, but if you're a known player like me, you will know the roots, and you will know how to kill. It will take a couple of shots, your health will be low, but apart from that, I think everything should be good. So for the people complaining, you just have to get good. That's how I did it. No sorting out the game, no this or that. It's just get good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this list-based video. Um, yeah, I guess um, I will see you tomorrow for Fridays with Addies and a channel with you. Yes. Bye.